it sounds like so cliche, but the sport is legitimately giving me everything. College education, because of water polo, I got to play at Iona um, four years. I went overseas, so I got to see the world because of water polo. Met some great friends due to water polo. I met my wife through water polo, and I make my living through water polo. So it's legitimately everything. Getting into coaching was more like, the sport means so much to me, and it's given me so much that I just was like, you know what, I don't want it to be like out of my life. And I felt like it kind of was at that point. So then uh, those, uh, I ended up assistant coaching with uh, Brian Kelly at Iona. And then from that, I started doing youth coaching. From Iona, I ended up coaching a, a boys team at Greenwich High School. And then the Marist job opened up, and I applied for it right away. Coming for the interview, I thought it went well. Obviously it did, because I'm here. If I can have my way, we're gonna have a very competitive playing schedule. We're gonna play teams that are in our level, above our level, and under our level. And I wanna be able to compete and win in all those scenarios, or at least give our best effort to do it. They all have a voice. Um, just because you're a freshman doesn't mean you can't speak up if a senior did something wrong or the ball needed to go a certain way. You all need to be comfortable in the water to understand that right now we're just talking business and if you didn't like it, we can deal with it outside of the water. I want that conversation to come from a freshman, senior, junior, sophomore, I don't care. If Maris had a men's water polo team, I probably would have came here. It's, it's, it has everything. It's beautiful campus, uh, great people that really care about what's happening with, with the athletes, um, with their education, with their future. You have a group of young ladies that want to win, that will win their conference, and that are, are, are great people.